Uh, Seed Programs International was started in 1999 as a nonprofit organization to essentially capture the excess seed of the trade that goes unused for any number of reasons um, that is still of good quality and get it to people who are facing hunger um, all over the world who otherwise don't have access to good seed. There's several different scenarios. One is uh, simply that seed is excess to marketing needs. So seed companies are in competition, especially with newer varieties. They're not sure how much they're going to sell. So they might tend to overproduce and have a little extra. Sometimes it's a matter of not meeting commercial standards. So if there's too many off types, you know, uh, to use a simple example, you know, uh, a cabbage of which 10% ripens two weeks later, that's garbage in terms of a commercial seed company selling it but it's potentially even better than a completely uniform product for uh, a subsistence gardener in the developing world. A lot of our focus since then has been on not just assuming that because we get somebody seed in a place like Madagascar or Liberia or Haiti, that they're going to be able to successfully get food out of it. So we have partners on the ground in all those locations. We're a small staff that's really focused on being this intermediary, but we're supporting those partners a whole lot in delivering training, technical assistance, um, uh, other resources like tools uh, to ensure that uh, people are able to get a good harvest out of the seed that they produce. Our focus has um, shifted a little more heavily to Africa than it had been. Areas of the world like Asia and South America have a more robust vegetable seed trade than they did 10 years ago or 20 years ago almost when we started. And so there's less of a need for our organization. We you know, are essentially very well tied to the seed industry and we don't want to be competition. Um, what we like to do, and I'm going a little off track here, um, is get people hooked on growing vegetables um, often through an aid-based source that we provide, but then um, we don't want to do that two, four, six, ten years in a row. We want people to find a way, once they're excited about growing vegetables, to then be sourcing them locally or regionally or even globally from many of the companies who are at this conference. Uh, and, I, and I didn't answer your question because I got distracted. Um, so Sub-Saharan Africa, um, Central America, Haiti has been uh, our, our number one um, destination in the last three, four months because of Hurricane Matthew, uh, which had a huge impact on the food supply there back in last fall. We want to be even farther along in terms of being able to offer support to our partners, um, have models of uh, locations where a program has gone from people who we're not growing and eating any vegetables to people who now understand how to, that the nutrition is important, that it will make their children healthier, um, uh, how to store and cook the vegetables, and all of these different elements that are part of the complete picture. Um, we want to be able to tell the story of uh, partnerships in developing countries that have gone from that start to finish um, and perhaps are even now buying seed on the commercial market because uh, new vegetable growers have emerged. This poster says seed saves lives, and I would have been very hesitant to say that when we started because I didn't know if it was true. Um, and you know, we don't want to overstate, uh, but um, we actually had a story from Madagascar, which uh, where the average person lives on less than a dollar a day. Um, so you can imagine how hard it is to feed your family, and people regularly die of malnutrition. And it was a woman talking about how she really felt like you know the beets and the other produce coming out of her garden were keeping her siblings alive. Um, and uh, just hearing that, you know, I, I, I didn't um, think of it that way. I thought of it as supplemental, as providing greater nutrition, as providing greater income, not necessarily saving lives. But, you know, as we hear more and more of those stories, we can uh, put this up here and hope that the seed companies that are members of ASTA here can, can you know, brag on um, what they're accomplishing by working with us.